You're listening to Daily Mana Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get a post notification every day on your phone or tablet when we post a new daily devotional video, then hit the, the little uh, bell there, the notification bell, and turn that on. You can also hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video at any point in time. Uh, you can also comment down below, or you can shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you have a prayer request or something more personal that you want to talk about. The title of today's devotion is Who Am I? I got the lovely, the only Madison, my princess, with me today. Who am I? We're going to jump over there. Who am I? Scripture. God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. Israelites, I am has sent me to you. Ex- Exodus. Exodus three fourteen. Dave enjoyed his job, but for a long time he had sensed he had sensed a pull towards something else. Now he was about to fulfill his dream and step into mission work, but strangely he began to have serious doubts. I don't deserve this, he told a friend. The mission board doesn't know the real me. I'm not good enough. Dave has some pretty good company. Mention the name of Moses and we think of leadership. I think this is supposed to be think there. So my fault. We think of leadership, strength, and the Ten Commandments. We tend to forget that Moses fled to the desert after murdering a man. We lose sight of his 40 years as a fugitive. We overlook his anger problem and his intense reluctance to say yes to God. That's very interesting facts about Moses if you didn't know that. I forgot all about that. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Man. When God shows up with marching orders, Exodus 3, 1, 10. Moses played the I'm not good enough card. He even got into a lengthy, lengthy. lengthy argument with God, asking him, who am I? Verse 11, right? Yep. Then God told Moses who he was. I am who I am. Verse 14. It's Im- possible for us to explain that mysterious name because our indescribable indescribable God is describing his eternal presence to Moses. A sense of our own weakness is healthy, but if we use them as an excuse to keep God from using us, we insult him. What we're really saying is that God isn't good enough. The question isn't who am I? The question is who is the I am? Tim Gus- Gustafson. Gustafson. This devotion comes out of How Firm a Foundation, a devotional by Our Daily Bread Ministries. So, yeah, it just talks about how it doesn't matter so much who we are. It matters who God is, the great I am. So, thanks for listening. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. I will see you tomorrow for another short daily devotional. God Thank bless. you. God bless. God bless.